Hey guys, so thanks for joining me. Just wanted to get a, another quick video out there about this elusive KML mapping tool we've got. Um, you know, you may be able to get away with your company with assigning zip codes to routes, uh, but by, by and large, most companies are going to have to get a little bit more specific about the delivery area for each of their routes. And so this is a great way to really drill into the nitty gritty, draw shapes on a map and say, hey, this is our North Boulder AM route, or this is our South Boulder PM route, that type of thing. So first place you're going to want to start is go to maps.google.com. So maps.google.com. If you don't already have a Google account, it's free. So you want to sign up. You can either do that with your Gmail address or even your corporate email address. Sign up for a free Google account. And uh, you want to log in so that you're looking at your personal data, your maps, etc. So once you've logged in to maps.google.com, then you can click this grid up here on the, the top left. Then go into your places. And then from there, click the sub, sub nav maps. And that will show you all the maps you've created. And at the bottom here, you'll see a create map link. And when I click that, it actually pops open a new browser window, takes us directly to their mapping interface. And it gives me the opportunity to give my map a name and give the layer that it creates by default a name. So I'm going to click the words untitled map here. And I'm going to call this Judd's map. Save that. And then the layer it creates here by default, it's really the only layer you need to have. So I'm going to click that and again give it a, a name. So home delivery routes, for example. And I'll save that. Now we've got our map named and we've got that, that uh, initial layer named. So at this point we can start zooming into your specific delivery area. So I'm going to zoom into Colorado here. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to pretend that I've got a, a northwest, south, and uh, east route here. So first thing I want to do is, is use their draw tools. When you hold your mouse over this kind of uh, uh, node line here, you'll see draw a line. When I click that, I can choose add line or shape, and then your cursor changes. So I'm going to outline my north route first. I'm going to start drawing here. And I'll cut across I-25 here, go back north. And I'm going to connect those dots. When you connect the dots, it creates a shape for you, and it wants you to give that shape a name. The, sh the shape name should really match the route name you're going to tie this to. So if this is going to be the north uh, north route, I'd say north am route and simply click save. Once you click save, then you've got some other options. I'm going to choose style here. And I'm going to give this a, a red background color just so visually I know that's my north am route. I'm going to go back to my draw tools, add line or shape, and again I'll start drawing another shape. We'll say this is the area that I'll serve for this particular zone. And again, I'll give that uh, a name. So South Delivery Route. And then I'm going to set a color for that again, maybe uh, an orange for this one. And kind of on down the line, you can draw as many shapes as you want. And keep in mind, we could have really zoomed into this map first before I started drawing each shape so that you could really snap to roads um, and get you know, more familiar with your, your particular area, the neighborhoods, etc. So we'll give this one a East Delivery Route name. Click Save. I'm going to keep that one black. So we've got our, our kind of base map created. And now we need to get this out of Google um, as a KML file and into our system. So you simply just want to go up to this, uh, these three, three dots up here up to the, the, next to the map name. When you click that, you've got an export to KML option. When you choose that, you just want to keep it at entire map. Um, otherwise, you could just export that particular layer, but entire map will work fine. And you can either checkbox or not checkbox export to a KML file. For some reason, both work on Google. And you'll download that to your downloads folder or your desktop, wherever you choose to download it. And at that point, you've got your KML file. So now you want to log into our system and actually upload that KML file. So when you go into Route Management and then Manage KML File, you should see a screen similar to what we're looking at now. And at the bottom here, you've got a Browse button to browse your hard drive. Find that KML file and click Upload. That'll refresh the page and show you this map with your shapes overlaid over it. At that point, all new customer signups, whether they're by the customers themselves or admins, will be governed by the shapes you've got you know, here. So if your latitude and longitude falls within the north route, you'll be automatically assigned to the north route. 
you can actually upload and manage you know this KML file as, as many times as you'd like. So if you want to go back to your maps at some point and change a shape or add a new shape or uh, diminish the size of a shape, that type of thing, you can actually re-upload that. And that won't affect your existing customers that have already been assigned to routes. They'll stay on the routes they're on, but any new customer registrations would be affected by that new map. So I hope this has been helpful in kind of describing, uh, outlining how that process works. I think it's a very clean way to outline your routes and, and to do your route boundaries and to really visualize how much area you're covering. So reach out and let us know if you've got any other questions. Um, I'm sure Hannah with customer support or your dedicated rep would uh, welcome the opportunity to kind of walk you through that in person.